Welcome to the instructions video of the Crystallizations Systems software. Double click on the Crystallization Systems software. The Connect to Device dialog window will appear on your screen. In this dialog window, one gets an overview of the equipment connected to the network. By selecting the device and pressing Connect, you can connect to the correct device on the network. You are now prompted to the Reactor Overview screen, which shows the status of all reactors labeled from A to D. The status block has a chart window and a graphical reactor representation, where is shown the actual temperature and the transmissivity in each reactor. In the lower panel is summarized the state of the system. Further click on one of the reactors. To use the chosen reactor, create a new experiment. You are now prompted to the Experimental Details tab. Fill in the details of your experiment, such as Experiment name type of cap, type of steering, username, description of the experiment, compound name in reactor 1, solvent, concentration, type of stirrer. If you have the same experiment in all four reactors, you can copy the details in all reactors by clicking on Copy All. You are now ready to go to the next tab, the Experiment Program tab. This tab consists of four panels. Pre-Step, Program, Post-Step, and Program Chart. Pre-Step can be enabled in the previous tab, the Experimental Details tab. You can predefine the time when the experiment needs to start. Now, you will see how to make a program for making a solubility curve. Add a new program step. Choose for an action, for example, Ramp, Linear, Type of Heating, Write the end temperature, which for a solubility curve should be around 5 degrees Celsius lower than the boiling point of the solvent. Advised heating rate is 0.5 degrees per minute. The duration of the step is automatically calculated. The advised stirring speed is about 750 RPM. Add a new step. Hold at the maximum end temperature for about 10 minutes to make sure all solids are dissolved. Once you have a clear solution, you are ready to add a tune step. By adding a tune step, you make sure that the transmission is calibrated to 100%. Once you have tuned, you are ready to make a cooling step by adding a linear ramp, for example, to 5 degrees Celsius, with a cooling rate of 0.5 degrees Celsius per minute. When the minimum end temperature is reached, add a hold step at the minimum temperature to make sure all solids are crystallizing again. Now you are ready to make a heating cooling profile for the solubility curve. Add another linear ramp to maximum temperature followed by a hold step at the maximum temperature for about 10 minutes and a linear ramp to minimum temperature of 5 degrees Celsius. Make sure you keep the same heating cooling rates. For getting solubility data, you should consider adding minimum three heating cooling cycles. You can now insert four blank steps. Select the hold step at 5 degrees Celsius, ramp to 60 degrees Celsius, hold at 60 degrees Celsius, and ramp to 5 degrees Celsius. Click on Copy. Place your cursor on the first blank step and then click on Paste. You've just made the second cycle for the solubility curve. Now, you are ready to save the program you've just made. 
click on the Save button. Here are some tips and tricks to consider making a solubility curve. Maximum temperature to use is the boiling point of the solvent. Minimum temperature is minus 15 degrees Celsius, with the exception of water. Choose a heating, cooling ramp between 0.3 and 0.5 degrees Celsius per minute. Calibrate the transmission probe at the start with pure solvent and at maximum temperature with sample. Consider around three heat cool cycles. Post step. This enables the user to define a post experiment condition. Please be aware that you need to stop the experiment manually and no data from the system will be saved in the database. The program chart panel gives you a graphical view of the temperature program you have made. You copy and paste it as a picture in any other program. You are now ready to go to the next tab, the Experiment Runtime tab. This tab consists of three panels, Chart Panel, Legend Bar Panel and Turbidity View Panel. In order to start an experiment, you need to click the Play button. In the upper part of the chart panel, you should already see the status of the experiment as running. The upper bar of the reactor block is also green now, showing the experiments in block reactor A are running. The experiment can be temporarily paused by pressing the pause button and restarted again by clicking the play button. The experiment can also be completely terminated by clicking the stop button. When the experiment is finished, the finished sign will appear on the upper part of the chart panel and the upper bar of the block reactor turns into blue. You are now ready to go to the next tab, the experiment reporting tab. This tab consists of two panels, export experiment data, experiment closure. After an experiment is finished, the user can export the data in different formats, crystal clear, CSV, or XML. You can also select the time period to be exported. The whole experiment is a default selection, but one can export a specific analyzed region. When exporting a part of an experiment, you need to set the start time and the end time of the selection. The Experiment Closure panel shows two buttons, Save and Close Experiment, Discard Experiment. By pressing the Save and Close Experiment button, a question dialog is shown, asking you to save the experiment or cancel the operation. The experiment will be saved as a CLE file and can only be opened in the Crystallization Systems software. Once you have a saved experiment, you can open it in the Open Experiment panel. Please note that loading a finished experiment can take some time when the database contains a lot of data. After loading it, you can also modify it. Another option that you may have is to copy an experiment from another reactor block by making use of the Copy from Reactor button. The status of the experiment will be idle and all experimental details are copied. Further, you can modify the details of your experiment. Now you are ready to start. The Crystal 16 instrument enables you to perform a large series of applications solubility curves and metastable zone width determination, solvent screen, impurity impact, the impact of temperature ramp speed on positioning of the metastable zone width, solubility screening on unknown compounds, polymorph screens, polymorph stability screens such as slurry experiments, salt screens, co-crystal screening, induction time measurements, chiral separation and crystallization, polymer dissolution studies, amorphous solid dispersion screens,